Hey, what's going on everyone? So today the 3080 Nvidia card just got released and along with that Fortnite came out with a new update on PC if you have an RTX card uh, 2060 or above ray tracing you're gonna have some new options in your settings that we can go over and see which one is optimal for your setup now before you do this before we get too uh, far into it there are a few things you want to do a make sure you have an RTX 2060 or above to get the ray tracing enabled on your Fortnite application update your graphics card go into your GeForce experience make sure that's up to date make sure your Windows is up to date if you go in the bottom left hand corner of your Windows and just search and just type an update you can update your Windows and then go into your actual Fortnite settings and turn on DX12. By turning on DX12, you're going to have all of these options that we can turn on to boost our game. All in all, it's going to make your, your game look awesome and run better is what they tell us. So let's uh, let's go over the settings so you can see which one is optimal for us or for you. And if you decide you want to use ray tracing or not. Not sure if I said this, when you turn on DX12 in your settings, I think it's going to make you restart your game, which no big deal. Just restart your game, turn it on, restart it, good to go. So let's dive into it. Right now, I am actually in the uh, Fortnite RTX map that they made to showcase RTX to show all the cool lighting, all the cool reflections, all the new toys you get with the ray tracing ability uh, with, with today's update. So just as an example, here's some cool blocks. Look, you can see yourself. Very cool, huh? Very cool. This map, if you want the code, it's in the, the top of the screen right there. You can type it in and uh, go look around for yourself, but very, very cool. Let's dive into the settings that I have found that uh, I like, and I'll let you decide if you want to stick with them or, or choose to turn some off. So let's go into it. All right, so once you turn on your DX12, we talked about it, you restarted your game. Uh, right below it, you're gonna see latency markers. I don't have that on because that is if you wanna see what your latency is. When you click your mouse button to your monitor, it's gonna tell you what your average latency is. Fun to test around in the game. You don't need a, a high speed camera to capture your monitor and, and your frames. You could do it with that, which is awesome. But what I am gonna recommend is this NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. Turning that on plus boost. Having that on plus boost is gonna override your GPU's power saving mode and make sure you're running your optimal speeds. So have that on. A latency flash, again, I'm not really caring about that right now. I don't wanna see what my latency is on my screen. If you really want to tinker around with that, you can. The, the two important ones to me was this reflex and then the DLSS. DLSS on this one, the deep learning super sampling. You would want this on quality if you're running 1080p. If you're running 4K, you want that on performance. And then if you have, what's the middle one there? Gotta look back at the website. 2560 by 1440, you want that on balance. And that's straight from NVIDIA's website. So I'm not making that up. That's straight from their website. So I have mine on quality because I'm playing on 1080p. The next thing you can do, and I think it's gonna make you restart your game, is ray tracing. Now I also found this on Fortnite's websites. It wasn't on NVIDIA's website talking about Fortnite. It was on Fortnite's website. So just so I pull it up, and I'm gonna get in front of you in a second here too, you're gonna have to have DX12 on. Obviously your, your minimum system requirements is having a CPU with four cores or more, a GPU that is an RTX 2060 or higher, with all the latest drivers. And I have a 2060 right now. Sadly, I went to Micro Center this morning to try to go get a 3080 and the line was like 100 plus people and there's only 11 cards in the store that I saw online. So I couldn't get one yet. I will get one once uh, they get back in stock. But your minimum system requirements, again, the 2060 RTX or higher and your Windows 10 is updated. The recommended settings is everything I just said, plus more. The CPU has to be eight cores or more. Uh, you have to have a GPU 2080, RTX 2080 or higher. So obviously the 3080 that's out right now as of today and your Windows up to date. So that's the recommended settings to have uh, ray tracing on. I would probably say the same just in tinkering around with it right now with my minimum you know, system requirements. I have a Ryzen 7 2700X, which is great for the CPU. The 2060, I don't think is gonna be able to handle it all that well. And just in the settings I have on right now, you can see all middle of the road, ray tracing on, shadows on, reflections, middle of the road, ambient occlusions on, global illumination, low. Just having that in the middle of the the, the road there. My frames per second, you can see up the upper right hand corner, not the greatest, but on, on top of that, I have all my other things, graphic quality, all on off or low. So that 3080, I can't wait to get that thing because you can really take advantage of this and, uh, and have a beautiful game and great great gameplay as well. So with that, I am gonna recommend that if you don't have a 2080 Ti or 3080, that you don't even use ray tracing. Don't use it. That's my recommendation. If you say, no, forget you, I like my game being beautiful, well then have it on and adjust these settings how you like it. It is an absolutely beautiful thing to see this map with ray tracing on, but I can just feel 
how slow it is just by just by looking around and do i really care in fortnite that is super competitive to have the most beautiful looking game yeah i don't know you know i mean it's cool to see my reflection it's cool to see all these things holy cow wow like a hall of mirrors all very very cool stuff but until i get a 3080 or if i had a 2080 ti i i would probably leave rtx off ray tracing off so i love the idea of it and i'm happy i have the option to do it but what I would recommend at the end of the day is having this off if you don't have that 2080 or 3080 or yeah, 2080 Ti or 3080. Turning this off and then having DirectX 12 beta on the reflex low latency on plus boost. And again, if you're playing in 1080p like myself, having the DLSS on quality, that is gonna give us the, uh, the best low latency mode possible on your current setup. I hope this helped. If you guys uh, wanted to play the map I'm on right now, I think I mentioned this earlier, maybe not, but uh, you can play this map yourself if you have the RTX card to see how cool it looks. The code is in the uh, top of the screen there uh, for you to type in and enjoy yourself. Let me know if you have any questions on this. Let me know if you got a 3080 today as it just came out. If you did, you were extremely lucky. Those things sold out so quick. Thanks again for watching. This is truly cool, the direction that it's going. I've wanted to use DX12 for a long time, it's a little buggy. I think they're working on those bugs and making it the new norm. Last but not least, if you haven't liked the video, hit like, hit subscribe if you're new. We go live a lot. We play scrims on Fridays. Hope to see you there. Thanks again, guys, and until next time, see you out there. Okay, use code LJ in the Fortnite item shop to be better at the game. Okay, use code LJ or else you'll be late.